So here we are. And you're going to be able to see all of the games. And you're going to be able to see all the saves that I've been doing. Because one thing I've found is, like, when you start playing with this, save often, guys. Because um, you will run into issues. And uh, it's a good idea to have a lot of saves. So you can see, like, I've been saving this Badlands OAU region, like, repeatedly. You know, just keep saving it to a new number so that I can go back and I can, if, if necessary I can hop back you know to like if I need to go back and fix something a long time ago but there you go right are we going to go over to Verdant Jungle now and this Toucan Valley is going to be the site for this new city that I want to put together and it's going to be an Academy Enclave city and it's this is going to utilize an idea that I've had for quite some time. And um, this is kind of an interesting plot. And I kind of need to figure out like the, the extent of it first before I do anything else. So let's start there. Actually, you know, guys, I've, I've got to switch this from... Because I'm, I'm using push to talk at the moment on TeamSpeak, and it's it's driving me mad, frankly. So I'm just going to change that. As soon as I figure out how. Okay, so I've now got continuous transmission switched on. So, Cranky, can you still hear me in there? Under settings, capture, you can change the uh, voice to continuous transmission. Yeah, I've, that's what I've just done. So, can you hear me? I'm guessing they can't hear me. So, yeah, it's what it is. Never mind. We'll get it fixed up for next time. Yeah. Right, um, let me see. Oh, my God. Nanny Regina is here. Now, she says she can't she can't hear me, but she's here. Woohoo! Everybody say hi to Nanny Regina. Chanlin, you do hear a Brummy speaking. Well, actually, I'm not a Brummy, and uh, to be honest, I don't like being called a Brummy, but, you know, I live with it. Black country, mate. Right, let's um, let's have a look at this, and uh, and I'll I'll give you an idea of what I want to do with this place. So, first of all, let's let, let's find out what what our like boundaries are, and I'm going to use um, I'm going to use like a uh, I'm going to use a low density street to figure that out. Right, so we come down here this is the and this is going to be the sa uh, the west side and we can extend north and east with the bigger maps remember so let's see like how far this will go this way right okay and then how far out here right okay so that's the that's the bottom edge of our original plot and then I'm going to switch to a regional street, and I'm going to—I'll I'll use a dirt road just so that we can see the difference. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll use a dirt road. This is going to be kind of interesting to see. Ooh, oh, oh, this is very cool. Oh, I've got some ideas for what I might do up here. All right. <laughs> Oh, love it, love it. Right, let's see how far this way can we go. And to find out how far you can go this way, just take any any ploppable building and see how far your snap points extend. And it looks like the limit is over here. Like, kind of, yeah, about there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take one of these regional dirt roads just run it across there. It's easier to do this on the flat. And then... Ooh, no, it goes further than that. 
Oh my god, this this thing's going to be freaking huge, guys! That's, like, how far does this go? Ah, there. There's the limit. Oh, man, I've got to get out of the habit of using low-density buildings, because you can't see the damn things when you plop them. Let's get rid of that building, wherever the hell it was. Okay, so it, the edge is about here. So, let's run a dirt road. Let's, let's put one across here. That should give us a, a better indication. So, let's, yeah, let's take one of these. Right, there. Right, I'm just going to pause this so that it doesn't actually build. Oh, will you, like, show me what... There we go. There we go. So, now I've got a marker. I can take a dirt road. Run it down here. Will you? Uh, no. Bit fiddly. Little bit fiddly. We won't join up to that road for some reason. Because it's uh, it's probably a bridge at that point. That's okay. We'll run this down here. I just want an idea of like where my edges are. Okay. So. Wow. This is going to go like right up here. Oh, we're going to be able to use that. This is going to be cool. This is going to be very cool. And I'm going to have lots of room to do some of the cool things that I want to do, I think. Um, I need, You know, I need to like send a message to Nanny Regina because she can't hear me, apparently. I'll just say, hey Regina, hope you're enjoying your holiday. I know she is. She's having a really good time in Venice. With her huge boyfriend. And, oh, by the way, guys, she loves ice cream. So, I mean, in Venice, it's Italian ice cream, she's bound to be enjoying herself. There, there we go. There we go. That'll keep, that'll keep her happy. Right. Let's find this top limit. So, let's take a... Oh, my God. This Man, this goes... This goes quite a long ass way. Let's run a road up here. I'm thinking I was close to the edge of it, so... Oh, oh man, it goes right up there. Oh, sweet. Right, so let's take a road and run it across here. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, now, I know where the edge uh, is over here, I think. Do I? Huh. Oh yeah, that's because it's that's the that's the original map edge, so it's going to be to about thereish. Oh, need to need to whack in some cash. Whack in a few alt Ws, just to bump up the cash a bit while we're doing this. There we go. Right, let's uh, let's find that let's find the limit. Just slap a road across here. Take our medium density building again. Uh, right, there it is. There's our limit. And put that in. And then take this. And just run this down here. Well, close enough. Okay, so there you go. Right, now we know the area that we can work within. Right, which is this square wow okay this is what i've got in mind for this for this area and um i'll i'll throw some in and you tell me what you guys think 
yeah, the guys are all talking to Nani Regina now. They're, they're ignoring me. Yeah, you were right, by the way, uh, Bickerty. The railway is kind of the edge. Just about. Just just outside the railway is the edge. What? Okay, what I had in mind. What I had in mind. Um, let's take... Uh, and I want circles. What I had in mind was... Well, I'm going to do it with... I'll do it with high density. I'll do it with high density. What I had in mind was to throw in some circles like this um, and and not necessarily kind of like the same size or kind of irregular circles kind of no nah, not there a bit bigger there um, scattered around this this plot oh, I love the, I love the amount of space we've got Ah, oh, God. See, if I was doing this, and like the old maps, it'd be so blooming small. Let's get rid of, get rid of a bit of, a bit of this. There we go. So, the idea is that we have these circles, right? And then, the idea is that the connections between these circles are going to be... Um, completely underground so that when you look at it it'll look like these circles are not connected to anything right that's the, that's the idea right that's the idea so for example we take a um, yeah I'm gonna do it with curved rods just like hook this up to say there Oh, and it's not going to let me turn them into... Oh, that, see, that's going to be a little bit of a pain. The tunnels mod might be good. Oh, now... Okay, that's a good question for you, Zoxide. There is a mod out there, the bridge tunnel mod, um, that some guy has produced. And I've been looking at integrating that into Skypack. But um, I've kind of held off until this point. Is there any reason why that shouldn't be integrated into the rest of the stuff? Are there any Julia, Julia is actually uh, currently making a better version of that idea, which actually allows you to upgrade and downgrade. If you install the newest version from last night, you will see it. But even last week, if you notice the ones with the green and the water, which show ground and water, those are actually elevated regionals that you can actually use and upgrade. Right, but is that going to extend? Because he, he, obviously you get the ability to put in like slightly raised regional streets and stuff, which are very, yeah, we're, very useful. We're doing, well, those are regional road streets right there. And then we're adding Udons, which is the next part that Yai and uh, Julia are actually working on right now with upgrades. You guys are just seriously freaking awesome. Like every time I think of something... Like, you guys are either already doing it or uh, or you're planning to do it. Well, we wanted to get the same feel that Max has had for upgrades and downgrades. And you've already seen the first part where you had your bridge and you were able to upgrade it. However, if you look at the regional streets there, one's for land, one's for water to make it simple. Uh, we still have to work on the icons. But then from there, you can actually upgrade it to any version of the road, even though you can pick one to start with. Okay, guys. This see, this is this is exactly the kind of thing that I run into in in R and D, right? So I've got this idea. I want these circles connected with essentially invisible roads. But like, how the hell can I do it? Because right now, trying to 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 make um, regional tunnels um, without that particular mod, you just can't do it. Unless, Zoxide, you can think of a way of doing it. Regional tunnels are coming after Udon uh, bridges, believe it or not. We are just knocking out the first before we actually do the second so that those have upgrades and downgrades as well. Okay. See, so I'd say maybe two to three weeks and you will have all of the roads in a version that feels uh, almost native to the game. If I, if I do it over here in... Um, just using regular streets then I can do it right I can just turn this into a tunnel 
right? And then once I throw some buildings in, which I, I and let's do that. Let's do that because I want to give you guys at least the the look, the feel, the idea of what I'm trying to sort of come up with. Um, now I need to futurize, so let's start by banging in some um, some formal. But I want Millennium Parks, don't I? Where's the Millennium Park? Our oh, plazas. I always get. I always think they're informal. I don't know why. Let's put. Let's put a Millennium Park there and one on the other side. Yeah, that gives us a nice uh, high wealth blob there. Let's do similar thing, but I'm going to put them on the outside. Yeah, that gives us a nice blob around there. Right, the, the, the idea I've got in my head is to have some, some really nice high wealth, high density buildings like in the center and then probably some medium density on the outside of the ring and probably like in the center I'm thinking like I you actually you know what maybe some control uh, control net building aha uh -huh. let's see this is yeah I'm thinking maybe the control net building now I need to get uh, an academy. I need five high wealth residential buildings in order to unlock that. So let's bang some buildings in. So uh, residential. I want high wealth, high density, and now I I need the new the new version of um, RCI because so, it's got all new icons. But well, what the hell? Like let's now uh, let's see what this one looks like when it's futurized. Yeah, let's put it there. I was gonna put I was gonna put medium density on the outside, wasn't I? Let's just bang some of those around there and then Oh. See this is where this is why you do the the kind of the R and D because you need to figure out like okay how do I need to structure my tunnels in order to, in order to get enough buildings in how big do the circles need to be blah 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 you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna whack a bunch of these around the outside just to kind of see how it looks if I have the the high density buildings on the outside I kind I am kind of thinking that it needs to have um, medium density on the outside. Ah, see? I, and I need to, like, either adjust the spacing or whatever so that it's all even, so that you get the right look to it. Okay, I need to hook this up to the, the main entrance. Now, the main entrance for this plot is this thing. Right? So... We want that hooked up in some way, but again, I want it to be as much as possible invisible. Now, since we're just screwing around with this in R and D, um, how am I going to do it? Let's, let's just hook it up over here. There. Let's just hook it up there. Okay. Now I'm going to need to throw in. Uh, a little bit of power and water just to keep these guys happy. Uh, so let's bang um, bang a medium density street over here, and we'll just we'll just throw in a little bit of power and water. I'll bang a couple of those in. Throw in a little bit of power. There we go. Global boom done. Um, sewage. Sewage. Uh, yeah, let's let's throw a sewage there for now. That'll do. Right. Let's um, crank this up and see if we can get this built. Yep, there they go. They're starting to build. Let's do this little circle while we're waiting for those to build. 
Uh, Sky, you don't need parks. In my city, the high wealth didn't need parks and behaved normally. Um, yeah, but I need them f to futurize, Mr. Casada. And um, by the way, if you're saying that you you have high wealth without the need for high wealth in cities, well, pff, I don't know how you're doing that because that's kind of crazy. Um, where's Sky Pack Two? I, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working to finish Sky Pack Two, two point oh immediately after I finish um, this session, this uh, stream. So I'm hoping that it's going to be out tomorrow morning, but I didn't want to release it until I was happy that it was stable. Because what, what happens is, the, the modding guys, they put together a pack of the, the new updates. They then send that out to people, like me, and then I take that, and then I add in other stuff that I want to add to it. So I have to you know, spend a little bit of time making sure that anything that I do to it um, helps, uh, it is still stable and, and works with everything else that they, they sent us, sent to us. Oh, every time Sky says, that'll, that'll do, take a drink. And every time I say, that'll do pig, finish your drink. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> People are getting drunk now. I'm going to take a drink now. Hmm. I don't even know what building that is. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Oh, all right. This is going to be very cool. I actually kind of like that round building for this. That kind of works quite well. Let's, um, let's bang a few more of those in then so that we can kind of see what we're dealing with. Um, <laughs> what do I want to do? Let's pause this because um, I know I've got some issues that I need to resolve. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to take a high density road, probably from about there. I've got the arc tool on. Let's whiz it round. Uh, see, now I need to hook that up to the entrance somehow. But instead of hooking it up to the entrance... Oh, hang on. No, because that one is already hooked up to this one, and this one's hooked up to the entrance. Right, yeah, I can just bang some buildings in. All right, cool. Right, so... Uh, now, there are different height versions of these buildings, and it may be that I can put like, you know, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose a different one and see what the different ones look like. And let's, eh, how about this one? Let's see what this one looks like. So, but I, I do kind of want in the centre that control net building, because what I want this to look like is kind of as though these are you know kind of dominated by the academy and the control net thing and is the control net really like a mind control thing i want to kind of introduce that element that there's a, a whole thing with this the academy enclave uh this is kind of like a a, a very secret society a, um they, they kind of operate outside of the the normal rules of the uh of the academy uh let's 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 bang in just a one medium density building there, just to provide some workers for this. Right, let's um, let's crank that up. I want to see because the, the the idea is, yeah, 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 yeah. So you'll you'll just have these these circles, like scattered around here that are just not connected to anything visibly and th and each of these circles will be like for a different uh, like a different faction of the enclave or whatever or for different reasons um, Zoxide said Captain would like what did <sighs> Jeff why didn't you just tell me you can feel free to interrupt me because I'll just yatter on for the rest of my life on here. Well, I just didn't want to interrupt you in TeamSpeak because it is your chat. So it's no, your channel. Dude, no, dude. No, don't worry. Just, yeah, just jump in. I just witter on forever. And the, Besides, sure that, the wasn't, do the that wasn't a major thing. That wasn't a major thing. It was just he wanted me to let you know. Cool, no worries. Okay, so, um, uh, Captain would like to express he's having internet difficulty. Oh, 
I hope he gets that sorted out and gets back in here. Oh, I just noticed Elric M is in here. Hey, Elric. How you doing, man? One of my favourite characters from, from um, fantasy literature. Elric of Melnibane. The Kinslayer. Um, right, what, like, what have you guys been saying to me? Because I've been focusing on building this stupid city and I haven't kind of been listening to you guys. Uh, oh, Danny's saying they're doing the um, the Great Pyramids of Giza in a lighthouse. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh... Well, Elric has been playing with uh, Pedestrian Paths 2.0 and found a whole bunch of side effects since that was the feature he asked for. Oh, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Uh, Kevin, uh, have one of the curse, have one of the circles be high wealth casino. Uh, possible, possible. It'll kind of depend on the look. The look may be kind of, mm, don't know. We'll see. But yeah, possible. Uh, what else? What else? What else? No, no, nothing particularly. Um, few people good saying uh, mug mud eccentric goose. How you doing, mate? Who else? Who else has jumped in? Yeah, you saying it looks like I think it could look pretty cool this. Yeah, I do. I do think it look could look quite good. Uh, I'm just scrolling up and just checking what you guys have been saying. Blah 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 blah. Uh, people have been saying about using control or you control control um uh the the cheats alt U and alt N and all the rest of it. I'm actually not in um sandbox mode. I um, I almost never use sandbox mode. Like even when I'm doing R and D, sometimes I don't use it. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. It kind of depends. The thing is, I only use it for cash. And since you can use Alt W, um, even in normal mode when you're offline, there's kind of no need for sandbox. And the reason I don't like using sandbox is that when I come to do it for real, sometimes you get things that you can't do. It's like if you can futurize, you forget that you then, when you do it in normal, you have to futurize it for real, right? And that has an impact. Oh, 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 look at these buildings. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that kind of shape thing going on. I'm not sure about the color, though. They're a bit gray as opposed to the kind of the, the more white shiny ones but they're not bad they're not bad i'm definitely I'm, I'm definitely thinking that this is what do you guys think of this idea and then what you'd have is like oh i can't i can't do it yet but I can, actually i can put the academy in now can't i yes i can so see th this is why because if you do it on in sandbox You've got all of the unlocks, and then you kind of forget when you come to do it for real what you need to unlock. Whereas if you do that in R and D, it kind of um, makes life a little bit easier. Let's just bang this like over there for now, out of the way. Uh, what do I need for this? Research control net facility. Uh, see, that's that's the only thing that's a bit of a pain sometimes, where you have to do research. Oh, we don't get research enabled until we get workers. So then I'd have to hook this up. Ah, that's a bit of a pain. See, this is an example where I would switch to regular sandbox, uh, to sandbox mode, because then I've got this stuff uh, unlocked. But I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking control net, like maybe back-to-back -back control net facilities in the center. And maybe mix it up so like maybe have two in this one and if if it's a little one just have one in the center or something. Um, but yeah, I like this idea of these circles. And then like like what can I do to kind of mix it up a little bit? Now I can do some stuff on the cliffs and I've already got a couple of ideas of what I can maybe do on the cliffs to do like I don't know like like maybe just little security facilities or something just to, now bear in mind we are going to have um, like the the secret research bases over here got like God knows what I'm going to do with that there are some I can make that look so much better this time around 
there are some really cool features that we can put in, including, of course, putting in things like laser fences, which is just awesome. Yeah, Les Angry said, the city's dying, bro. Yeah, I know. This is R&D. I don't care. This is just putting, this is just throwing stuff in and seeing what it looks like and, like, you know, coming up with ideas. So, like, like what else can I put in here? I mean, I can play around with different styles of buildings, but that's kind of, like, not an issue. That's not something I need to really work on. I'm kind of thinking of, like, what other buildings can I throw in here as, like, centerpieces? 